All right, so some of the best practices. You guys need to be making sure that you load up your GMVs with pictures, okay? And it, what I would be doing is I would not be just loading photo stock onto the GMB. Like get real pictures of whatever it is. Make the pictures kind of unique. And for most people, like if you're doing some kind of like, you know, flying saucer repair, then it may be hard to get real pictures. But for most of us, these businesses exist all around us. Like if you're doing like tree care, there's trees all over the place, right? Or if you're doing driveway replacement, then there's driveways all over the place. So you can go and take a picture with your cell phone of these different things and, and set it up. Okay. So additionally with the pictures, let's, let's kind of zoom in on this and I'm going to find some neighborhoods, right? So let's pretend that I want to rank better in this area here. So some of the names that I'm going to use for picture, and I think this was like tile something. So let's, let's say it's like tile um, installation. So I'm trying to rank better for like tile installation. And you can see kind of grayed out right here is American Fork. So some of the strategies that I would use when I'm naming the picture is that it's going to be tile installation, American Fork, and then whatever. I don't even know what city this is. Anyone see that? What part of the country am I in right now with this thing? I have no clue. Provo. This is Utah somewhere. So this looks like, um, so it could be like tile replacement, um, American Fork, Provo, um, tile replacement, tile repair, um, all this different, all this different stuff, like tile contractors, all these different things could be the names of these pictures that we're loading into our GMB. Additionally, some of the best practices that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build pages on your site that talk about these different areas that you want to rank better in, right? So American Fork could be a neighborhood page on the actual website. I would be making posts, right? You should, you should be making posts. Well, how much is too much? I don't think posting every day is too much. I don't think that's going to have a negative effect. I think there's kind of a law of diminishing returns. Um, but I would say getting two or three on there per week, I know they last about seven days, right? So I would be having one on there every seven days. And I would be targeting the things that you really come up with a, a, a strategy of how you're going to go after this. Come up. These are the keywords. These are the areas I want to target. And this stuff can all align with each other, right? So I'm putting this stuff on about American Fork and tile replacement. Maybe we're running a special on tile replacement uh, in the American Fork area, right? So let's, and, and then there's an American Fork um, page on my website, right? So get, get hyper specific. And that's where this heat map tool really comes into play is you can choose and, and build a strategy based on this information that you get back from these results, right? And you'll see this stuff move, right? You want the citations. That's another thing. If you guys aren't doing citations, like you, you're leaving money on the table. So there's a lot of different sites out there that will, will, will give you, um, you know, citations. And, you know, there's, there's different people that provide that as a service. What we did is we were using a site for a while. And then I think, um, you know, those like random Facebook requests you get where like you don't really know the person and you know that like they're going to try to pitch you something. Well, like one of those people reached out and we're like, OK, let's let's try this guy and let's see how his citations are. If they look like if he's doing a good job, how what's the turnaround time? And then when we negotiate it. Right. And I think we got it down to like 30 cents a citation or something like that where we negotiated down with him and we're like, hey, we'll order in bulk from you and you'll be our go-to guy, but we want it for this price. So that's been working out really well, but you've got to have those citations in there. You should be building out all the like big profile stuff. You should have your Facebook. For every GMB you set up, we need a Facebook page. We need a, we need a Yelp page, um, the Yelp pages. So there's like, if you look up like, Let's just do a search for SEO. What are the big citations? So they'll give you a list. Um, here's Moz. This is another thing that I would recommend that you guys pay attention to. How to like Moz is a great site for like SEO stuff. If you've been through, like a lot of us have been through the same training course and like 
there are so many other things out there. You guys need to be kind of like spreading your wings and looking for more information. Moz is a great resource that has tons of stuff on there. There's stuff. I, I don't know if this is going to be the, the right part of the site that is going to show me the list of what they call big citations, but you guys need to make sure that all of those are getting in there for your different sites. Okay. So we've got reviews, um, two per week. I wouldn't expect my website to rank without, without 10 reviews. There's something called big citations and there's a list of these. And, um, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, Jeff or somebody can, can pull that up and, and but there's, there's ones that you're going to want to make sure you get every time, like in Yelp, Yelp is one of them. I think, um, let me see here. So what I was saying is like, I wouldn't like, we've seen GMBs rank with no reviews, but if it's going to be like, for the most part, we're going to see a lot, like there's a correlation to having more reviews with the better rankings. And I think having at least 10 is, is like a good baseline. And we've had GMBs rank with no reviews that we don't get any, we're barely getting any calls. And then when we add the reviews, the calls start to come in. So it's more than just a ranking factor. It's a trust factor where you're going to, um, where you're going to get, you're going to get more trust with those reviews. So don't, don't like um, be negligent with those. So let's see here. Big citation SEO. Um, here's this, what is this bright local, bright local is a, a pretty good source for this. Here we go. Here's, um, Bing maps, Facebook, Bing is another one that you want to make sure you get listed in, um, read through this stuff. You know, you guys don't, don't be sheltered from this and just think that like, um, the process should like this idea of just like trusting the process is, is good when you're kind of like trying to get the foundation in place. But at some point, you know, you need to, you need to graduate from that and, and kind of like, like think about what's going on in, in, in the real world and, and don't be like hamstrung by that. Right. So things are constantly changing. How much have your GMBs changed or this process with GMBs changed in the last year? Right. So like the process is changing and you, you, you got to adapt and, and kind of pay attention to it. Right. So um, responding to the reviews is another thing that you should be doing. And when you do so, like getting keywords in the reviews is important. Right. So if you can get like, um, tree, like say I'm trying to rank for tree service. So maybe the review looks like this we hired this tree service company. So I've got tree service company now in there to come out and um, they removed a tree and then they grinded down a stump for us. They did a great job. So look at what I'm doing. I'm putting that stuff in there, right? Thing that I would highly recommend and getting your keywords into the questions in the cities, into the questions. Like do you guys do stump removal in Dallas, Texas. Yes. We've done a lot of stump removal in all of these different parts. Like you could, like we've done it in Fort Worth and all over Dallas, Texas. We'd love to help you just give us a call. Right. So these are some of the best practices that you should be getting in there. I would say um, I probably would go with like at least a five or 10 to one ratio of reviews to questions with more reviews than questions. OK, um, your website and the content and the strength of your website is going to dramatically influence your ability to rank the GMB. So obviously we want our GMBs to rank really well but you don't like just put everything on the GMB because you need, you need that other piece to get in there, right? Some of the things you wanna think about too is um, click through rate. When you go to pick your GMB name, a lot of you guys are picking like the perfect like keyword exact match. Uh, I would probably stay away from that a little bit and, and have a little bit of mixture. For those of you guys that, that can't get them to go live, they're getting suspended more often. I wouldn't mess with that. Like having like, um, instead of saying like tree service, Boston, it could be like, um, elite, elite tree service of Boston, make it sound like a name, right? So be creative with it. It could be ABC tree service, right? So it doesn't have to be like exact match with that. I think that's going to set off some red flags and also people without the branding in there, 
people might not want to click on it as much. And your click through rate is part of what is going to determine how your GMB ranks. That's a ranking factor, right? The time that people spend on your website is going to be a ranking factor for not only how your GM, like indirectly how your GMB ranks, but how your website ranks. So build your websites in a way that has like some engaging information in there, right? Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. Talked about that. Talked about that. Uh, Joseph Bram shared uh, Yex products listings, which I put into the chat here on, uh, what are we on, Skype, Zoom, Zoom, I mean. So, yeah. so Yex is a great service for looking at what they provide you. I would highly recommend that you don't sign up for and pay for their service. Just look at the, the what's included and then go and find a process to get those get those in place. But I paid for Yext. I got locked into a contract. It was it was a complete mess. You go, they they build these citations. They guarantee the citations to stick. Once you stop paying them, they actually remove them. So if it, and theirs will replace any duplicates. So let's say I have like a citation on site A, and then I sign up for Yext. So theirs replaces mine. And then when I stop paying, they remove it. And now I don't have a citation at all when I had one before. So, um, but that doesn't mean that their list of sites that they're getting the citations from is not a good list. That it is a good list. It's a lot of really powerful sites, right? Getting the, the citations from local places too can be, can be really useful. Like you want the power citations and you want the local citations. So in every city, there is like a number of resources those and this type of things. So just like we do the blog com or we used to do the blog commenting for our backlinks, like you could kind of create local backlinks. I recommend that and create local citations for like the area that you're in, get the local stuff, right? That's, that's a good thing to do. 